Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday and it's drop day and we're gonna go through a bunch of stuff that dropped this week with the first one being Portuguese flannel, which is not always flannel, but it's always Portuguese. Uh, and that's uh, one of our favorite shirt makers. They do other things outside of shirts, but greedy they are shirt maker. Uh, and it's a couple of uh, brothers, the Guimaraes. I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly. If not, sorry about that, guys. Uh, and they come from a family of uh, manufacturing shirting uh, and they turn that into so fabrics and they turn that into a business which is making simple but good shirts. Uh, we've got a lot of shirts uh, for spring summer and this is our first drop but it's the majority of our, uh, of our styles and we'll have a few more in a few weeks. I'm gonna just shut up about it and let Ludwin tell you all about each of those shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as Greg said, we have a ton of shirts in Portuguese flannel. I think maybe like 20 plus uh, this week. So I have it broken down in a couple of different segments. The first off is going to be something that most people are familiar with from them. Uh, it's their kind of like viscosy, tensile, rayon kind of section where it's like really cool wearing summer fabrics and they really take well to a print. Um, so you see a lot of really funko, funky <laughs> retro vibes going on. Uh, the first one being this dream print. You can see here a little psychedelic, kind of lava lampy, kind of, uh, you know, Austin Powers cut scene. It's, it's pretty sweet, a lot of colors going on there. Um, actually, let's give a quick little rundown on actually the shape and cut of the shirt, because it's just the same shirt reiterated a bunch of times. It's a bit of a relaxed fit in your true size. It's just really classic camp collar with a loop, so you can close that up top if you want. Single pocket, and then finish with a square hem all around. Um, so yeah, that's that one there. The next up is the gauche print. This features some of those uh, brothers' hand-drawn sketches. You'll see that on a couple of other ones. It gets a bit abstract, a bit artsy. This one's got some little animals, some sketches, some really scribbly dudes, um, and really nice earth tone colors. Big fan of that. And next one up here, it's called coral, which is actually an animal. So this is an animal print. So if you're cool with like zebra, tiger, leopard print, this is the coral print here, new animal to add to the list. Uh, a lot of really cool layers of like watercolors going up and down. And if you look really closely, that base has like some nice speckling going on with the blue and the darker blue. It's just a, yeah, really nice detailed aquatic motif. Then next up, a bit of a grayscale, darker noir palette. And then another one of those that feature those hand-drawn little critters. You'll see some like bony, fossilized looking uh, Aztec maybe kind of dudes. Really sweet one. And then nice little like glacier cool marble uh, going across. It could be, it could be a marble. It could be like water being poured, like being poured <laughs> into like a cup in like one of those really close ads for like, I don't know, purified water. It just looks really sweet, really cooling, really nice. Then kind of a bit more on the reserve side, mainly an all white tensile shirt, but then you've got this black stark embroidered uh, like woman's face with a little flower on the ear right there. Very pretty. This one's called Mother. You could wear this for Mother's Day. You could just wear this around your mother if you want or without. It just looks really sweet. Back also plain. So if you wear that layered under something, you're not gonna really see that. But then once you let it out, it's gonna be really nice. And then this is the Dusty Dog Town. So this is actually a washed uh, lyocell, I believe. So it has like a more peachy feel than a lot of the other ones, uh, instead of like as smooth and cool as that they'll wear, but it still feels really nice. We used to carry it in a, in a lot of colors, but we really thought this lilac was the one to pick up this season. And then here's a bit of a change in fabrication. This one is actually mainly cupro, but it still has some of that viscose in there. And it has a lot more texture than those other ones there. You'll see it kind of has like a, an almost felted kind of flocking situation going on. They call it their fingerprint shirt, but if it's a fingerprint, then they must have touched it a bunch. It kind of just reads like a, maybe like a, I don't know, a reptile print, maybe like a really, really close like Black Panther print. The green one, I think, probably reads a bit more reptile. Really nice. So yeah, that's a fun one. That's definitely one to check out. Really groovy. I could see you wearing this with like a, a little bit more tapered, not tapered, like tailored pants, uh, kind of have, give it a, a rakish vibe. And yeah, that's all of those like cool wearing, smooth like Lyocell rayon situations. Now we're getting into like the cottons, but like the really gauzy, light wearing, like very nice and thin airy cottons. Uh, we have two styles that are like pretty like light and airy. Uh, one of them is the Bahia, which is kind of like a Guayabera. You'll kind of see it, it's like, very, very light, very sheer, but it has those 
uh, really nice stitching stripes going up and down on this cream base. Um, this is something that if you're wearing it on its own, some people are like, is this too sheer to wear without, without an undershirt? It might be for you. I probably wear it without an undershirt, but if you're a little uh, self-conscious about it, then I think you can go ahead and uh, expect that to be a bit sheer. And the other one is actually worn by Greg right here. So while that one had a stitched stripe up and down, this one has nice little eyelets embroidered across the entire thing. How are you liking that? It's great. Super light. Yeah, really airy. And yeah, if you wore that without an undershirt, you're probably seeing some chest, right? It's like, that's... That's all right. That's how it works. And we're cool with that. And I think you should be too. Stop. Don't worry about it. It's nice. And then if you are concerned, we also got it in a black. This one's a bit more opaque, as you can see. So you're definitely good to just wear that as is. But all of these are going to look great with a tank under. The, the embroidery you can definitely see here picks up a lot more with that stark contrast. And we've got another embroidered shirt, but this time on like a denim chambray. Uh, this one's really special because it kind of has this shingling shape going along with those like flower blossom eyelets. So a bunch of actually little holes poking through there, a lot of ventilation. And it finishes down with a scalloped hem. This is going to be the only one that we carry that has that scalloped feature. And I think it just really complements those like shingles that are like tiles going down. Really sweet one. And then the ring shirt it almost seems like a like a sashiko we actually had this last season with more like denim like colors with white and blue uh, but this time it's kind of like on a red and a uh, beige color uh, kind of reminds me of like some stuff you see like artisanal japanese stuff with like persimmon dyes um, that'll end up coming out with a color like this really really sweet and we got the philly shirt uh, this one has a lot of texture that's not super obvious. The first thing you see are like these contrast buttons and the uh, embroideries going up and down. They kind of look like, I don't quite know what they look like. Maybe sea fans, maybe like uh, little bits of corals, maybe like a, like a little blobby bird. Um, but it's pretty sweet looking. And as you get closer, you can see like there's um, parts where it's a more open basket weave as opposed to like the gauzy cotton that runs through it. Um, so this one's super breezy, super nice and airy and a lot more to appreciate in person. And then next we've got another embroidered, the last of them. This one's just really handsome. You can see the variety of colors that are going up and down on this parchment, uh, parchment colored base. Then we've got two of the PK style, so a different fabrication, but still 100% cotton. Uh, it kind of has this really nice uh, texture in hand. It's not PK like you'd expect from a polo. It's a uh, woven PK, so it just kind of has that very soft texture running over it. And then we have a seersucker. Um, this is the only seersucker we had, but it's a really nice one. It's this really soft uh, yellow color. And yeah, the, the stripes and the embroiders of the seersucker kind of feel also wide there at the side. And last of the shirts, it's another sweet one. We have the corduroy uh, in this really nice creamy color, really like a, like French vanilla kind of a vibe. And we've also got shorts to go with it. That's right, Portuguese flannel with really nice shirting. That shirting makes really good uh, fabrics to go with shorts. We carried some trousers, but these shorts, I think, were the right call for us to pick up this summer. Um, as you can see, Greg's wearing them right here. It's a really classic shape. Um, they fit just about as you'd expect of a short like that. It has a bit of a higher rise, a nice elasticated waist, and a roomy leg. Uh, we've got then in two colors of corduroy, we have the cream and the green. So this green is uh, pretty nice. The way that it catches light is uh, something else. Then we have two other fabrications, both in olive and navy. This is that dusty dog town, so that washed Lysol. So you have that nice washed olive and the washed navy over here. And then we have the Atlantico, which is their washed seersucker, also again in olive and navy. And you can see your Ken Sean wearing them right there in the olive, styled masterfully. Look at that. Look at that nice shape, nice room coming on. You're wearing those all summer long. That's a go-to. And then the last is a chambray. We have a shirt that matches this. It will be out sooner enough, I think. Um, yeah, just waiting to get those photographed. And yeah, just really nice chambray going on there. And the last two are restocks, the uh, Laboro jackets that you've, or Laboro jackets that we've had uh, fall, winter, and cord, and we have them in this nice washed linen. Uh, olive and navy, these are colors we've had last spring, and they were so good, we decided to bring them back. Just a classic three pocket short coat on the back finished with a square hem. Oh uh, yeah, so that's Portuguese flannel. Uh, stick around, check out the next drop with a new brand. Stay tuned, see y'all.